Hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Fusion Squad. My name is Riser, and I'm here with a quick update from Destiny. So in this week's reset, we saw the challenge mode for the King's Fall Raid finally arrive, and many gardens have already gotten their hands on the rewards you can get from completing them. However, many Destiny players are still unsure about how you can go about finishing the challenge mode successfully, or about the kind of rewards you can get from it. But don't worry, Fusion Squad are here to help. Seriously, if you need assistance, drop us a comment and we'll do our best. But first, let me give you guys some tips. So first of all, this challenge is quite simple and it only pertains to the War Priest fight and no other boss. You will get modifiers that make the War Priest fire more frequently and summon tougher enemies in greater numbers. But the main challenge is that you finish off the War Priest with different aura holders. That means that no one can hold the brand off the initiate more than once. Most fire teams already do the strategy anyway. In fact, our group didn't even know about the challenge the first time we completed it. It was just a habit. Nonetheless, you can complete the challenge by finishing off the War Priest in 2 or 3 damage rounds. In my experience, our group finished the War Priest challenge in 2 rounds on both hard and normal mode and found success. But other Destiny players say they have completed it in 3, so it's up to you and your fire team. Also, if you happen to die while holding the brand, the challenge can still be completed as long as the aura isn't held by the same person twice. If, however, you fail the challenge during the War Priest encounter and say the same person holds the aura more than once, you will have to wipe and start again. A couple of things that can make the challenge a lot easier is to have one or two Night Stalkers and Defender Titans with Weapons of Light to help improve damage per second. It is also a good idea that most players are either using the Black Spindle or the Sleeper Simulant to greatly increase DPS. If you are still looking for these weapons and haven't got them yet, I will leave links in the description and at the end of the video to help you get them. Anyway, you can complete this challenge on all of your characters on both Normal Mode and Hard, but the rewards are slightly different. If you complete the challenge on normal, the War Priest will drop a guaranteed legendary engram that will give you a 310 artifact and a 310 weapon. If you complete it on hard, you will receive a 320 artifact and weapon along with the legendary emblem called the Worm God's Servant. If you happen to complete this challenge on hard mode first, you will be given the rewards for both hard and normal mode challenges, so make sure you have enough room in your loadout inventory. You can expect the weapon to either be the Defiance of Yasmin Sniper Rifle, or the Quillum Terminus Machine Gun, or even the Alulim's Frenzy Rocket Launcher, and you can also get the same weapon twice in one challenge completion. Another important reward you can get is the Calcified Fragment. It is a guaranteed drop the first time you complete the challenge, and you can get it in either hard or normal mode, but it will not drop twice for the same character in any given week, and there's a reason for that. Coming very soon in the December update, a possible exotic weapon should be revealed that will be available around Christmas or New Year's, but will only be rewarded to those Destiny players that have already acquired all 50 available calcified fragments. So far, obtaining 45 fragments can grant you the Touch of Malice, so the extra 5 can only be attained through these raid challenges, so go ahead and complete them if you haven't already. Anyway guys, I hope this video helped you out. Show your support by leaving a like or comment, it really helps us make more content, and I'll see you on our next Destiny video. Thanks for watching.